Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will see how we can create a analytic privilege in SAP HANA. So first of all, let's log in to the SAP HANA system. Here we will enter the username and the password using which we want to connect. And then we will go to the package and we can right click and go to new and analytic privilege. So first of all, what is the use of the analytic privilege? Analytic privileges, they are used to limit the access on SAP HANA information views. So we can assign the different types of right to the different users on different component of a view in analytic privilege. So sometimes it is required that the data in the same view, it should not be accessible to the other users who doesn't have any relevant requirement for that data. In such scenarios, we have to create the analytic privilege and we can assign that to the user. For example, let's say if we have an analytic view with the employee details like employee name, employee ID, salary, department, etc. But we don't want that the report developer should see the salary details or the employee logon details for the all employees. So we can hide that by using the analytic privilege. So we have few restrictions here that analytic privilege it can only be applied to the attributes. It cannot be applied to the measures and the analytic privileges they are used to control the read access on SAP HANA information view. So we can only restrict the attributes like employee name, ID, logon, department but we cannot restrict the numerical values like salary, bonus, etc. So now let's click on the analytic privilege. Here first of all we have to enter the name of the privilege. So let's say if we want demo underscore ap underscore 1. Similarly we can click on the label and it will pick up the name. After that, we have the type, we have the SQL analytic privilege and the classical analytic privilege. So in this case, we will, we will use the classical analytic privilege. Then we have two options, either we, can use the, uh, you, either we can use the create new to create the new from scratch or we can use the copy from. So this copy from option is basically to create the analytic privilege from the existing analytic privilege. After that, we will click on next and here we have to select the view on which we want to create this privilege. So let's say if I go to the package and if we select this view that is a test demo. I will add this and then I will click on finish. So now here we will see the different options which we have for the analytic privilege. So first of all, if we scroll a bit, so here we have the privilege validity. So we can define the privilege validity like till when this will be valid. In the operators, we have the different operators like equal, between, greater, equal, greater than, less equal, less than. Similarly, we have this inclusion option like whether we want these dates to be included or excluded. Then we have to select the from date and we can enter the to date if we want the validity for certain date. Otherwise, we can leave it blank for unlimited. Then we have the associated attributes restriction. So here in this attribute view, we have the employee name, employee details. So we, we want to add the attribute which is employee name. After that we will click on OK and then we have the assign restrictions. So here we will click on add and we can assign the restrictions. So again we have the operators here that is equal, greater equal, greater than, is not null etc. And then we have to select the value of the attribute. So let's say I want that this user should not be able to see the data for user Shivaji. I will click on OK and then this restriction is added. So what we have done here is that for the particular view that is the test underscore demo, I want to add the restriction on the employee Shivaji. I want that the 
user to which I want to assign this privilege, the user should only be able to see the data which is equal to which is equal uh, which is sorry which is not equal to Shivaji here. So after that we will click on the save and then we will click on the activate. So now this privilege is activated. So we have this privilege on which we have used the employee name restriction on the test demo view. So now once the privilege is created after that we have to assign it to the user. So we will go to the users and once we will right click the users we have the option of new user. So at the time of creating the new user we have this option of analytic privilege. So we can assign this privilege to this particular user which will restrict the data according to the analytic privilege assigned. So once we will click on here then we can enter the name of our restriction which we have just created that is a demo underscore ap1 and we can see that this restriction is added to the particular user so this is how we can add the privilege to the analytic privilege to the particular users while creating the user in the sap hana system so in this tutorial we have seen how we can create the new analytic privilege and how we can assign it to the user. Thank you.